Greetings, fellow travelers. Today, I'd like to remind you that the words that we use are how we mold our life. More importantly, the words that we use help mold our ideas about how we see the world. They truthfully craft our perspective on life. So it's not only useful at times to monitor or take note of the words that we use in our inner world, but also be mindful of the way that we use words to attempt to craft a reality for others. That's where it gets tricky. See, when we would describe ourselves, we use words that can either build us up or tear us down. And when we describe the outside world, we do the exact same thing. The more interesting aspect is when we see how others use the power of their word to either lift you up or tear you down. It's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting thing to witness. I'll say that much. Now I say, remember these things of these ideas of the power of words and the power that we have, because the ability to craft the world of our liking for myself is way more important than most things that we give our time and attention to. To be able to live in the world of your making and be pleased to be at peace. No one can give you that because there's only one you. So noticing words that I use along my journey, I began to change things up and it helped myself. I'm here to remind you that it's okay to do the same. However, that looks for you. Once again, I'm not saying I have it figured out. However, I do know through my experience, there is true power in crafting our words correctly. And in doing so for self, you begin to see through interactions with others how they craft their words. Sometimes it'll draw you in closer to them. More often than not, you want to remove yourself. Because you will be able to see the traps that they set for themselves because you've seen the traps that you set for yourself. You want nothing to do with it. Or maybe you do. It's okay. But the power of words, it will always be there. Even if we don't say it with our mouth. We have a constant dialogue going on within our brains. It never stops unless we tell it to, unless through conscious intention, we sit still and clear those thoughts to allow other ideas to come in. Be still, know that I am God. It can be simple. It is simple. It's not always easy, and that's fine. But remember that the opinions that we do carry are simply ideas that we hold close. That's the nature of opinion, correct? It binds two things together. So opinion is simply the ideas, beliefs, perspectives that we are bound ourselves to. But if you can bound yourself to it, you can release it as well. You don't have to stay believing the certain thing at all. Now, how long you going on to that belief or how long it's been embedded a part of your identity or your uh, idea of self? Who knows? Who cares if you know you don't want it anymore? Simply change it. And by changing the words that you use within your inner world, you'll begin to see your actions begin to change. 
because they're fueled, your actions are fueled by different words. You'll begin to connect yourself with different ideas and different perspectives. And the actions will follow the words. It goes back to a previous uh, a previous message that I shared with you about cause and effect. The effect is the, the physical action. But the cause is the ideas, the beliefs, which are culmination of words. That you have within you. Change it up. Mix it up. Decide. Right. <laughs> Try my hair. We do something different. And then you'll begin to see how you change. Now another aspect of this is. When dealing with others. And you see the way they use their words. You will not allow those words to have. So much of an impact on you. Because we are all living in a world which could seem like an open land or prison, but we're all living in a world built on our words, our ideas and beliefs. That's all it is. So instead of getting trapped in someone else's prison, you stay within your own world of freedom, of openness, of continuous expansion. And it doesn't seem so melancholy if you will this is my own experience I don't know how this may have shown up in your life I have no idea I'm simply here to remind you to not build a prison for yourself build an ever expanding kingdom within you trust in it and know that it all begins with the words you choose until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.